MoveWeb's XDN makes deploying your GitHub project fast and simple. Let's discuss how to sign up using your GitHub account, deploying your project to the XDN, and setting up automated deployments using GitHub Actions. We will also be using the XDN CLI to interact with the platform, so if this is your first time working with the XDN, see our Getting Started Guide at developer.moveweb.com. I'm going to use the Next.js Reactions demo just to show how easy it is to deploy to the XDN. And since we'll also be demonstrating deployment with GitHub Actions, let's fork and clone the repository. Now we need to initialize the project using the CLI. By running XDN init, we'll get all the dependencies installed along with the default router and XDN configuration necessary for deployment. Let's run the project locally to verify we have everything set up correctly. When we first initialized the project, new scripts were added to package.json for running and deploying the project. So let's run the project using the XDN start script. As we can see, the app launched successfully, so let's deploy it to the XDN. Before we deploy, we'll want to log in using our GitHub account. Simply run XDN login to open the browser to authenticate. Now that we're authenticated, we're able to deploy. So to deploy, we can just run the XDN deploy script. Since this is the first deployment, it will take a little longer to provision the environment. As we can see, the deploy was successful, so let's move over to the XDN Developer Console and verify the deployment. From here, we see the link to view the site live on the XDN. To set up automatic deployments using GitHub Actions, we'll need to set up a deploy token under the site settings. Copy the generated token and navigate back to the GitHub repository. Under Settings, then Secrets, create a new secret. We'll call this XDN Deploy Token. In the XDN Deploying Guide, there's a sample GitHub Actions script we can use as a starter. We'll make a few minor changes to trigger on each push and removing the XDN environment condition since we have no environment set up on our site. With the workflow created, let's commit and push the changes to trigger the build. We can then navigate over to the Actions page on the repo and see that the job has started. Deployment will typically take a couple of minutes depending on the size of the site. Once the job is finished, we can go back to the XDN Developer Console and see that the new build was also a success.